Hello, Rachel. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, first of all, this is such a huge project because we got the book in the 70s and we're getting it now. I seen an interview that you said you really did this for your daughter because you're a mom and you're playing a mom. So talk to us a little bit about why this project was important for you. I think there's, you know, you can never tell enough stories about um, the precariousness of youth and puberty. You know, it's it's a it's an intense time, and I think especially coming out of the pandemic and so many kids were so isolated. Um, I think I hope this will be a really kind of cathartic, fun, feel good ride for them and bring them closer to their parents maybe, open up some conversation, get some stuff going around the kitchen table, make um, super awkward conversations that are also about totally normal things a little easier maybe. Well, we definitely will. Thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so much. So question for you. I know this is a passion project and it's a huge project and this is something where I know you read the book as a kid and then you reread it and wrote the script. So for you reading it as a kid and now pitching the story to Judy Blue, what is that like for you? It is surreal. I mean, I feel like I'm, 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 I, I can't quite process it still. I'm trying to now that we're here. I'm like, you gotta be here. But yeah. Yeah, pretty neat. Well, it's amazing. I know you have to keep going, but I just wanted to say congratulations because from something that we got in the 70s and now you guys are bringing it to the big screen, yeah. thank you. Yeah. Oh, man. It's, we're, I'm just so glad to be here. I'm so glad Judy said yes. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. So who is Philip? Let us know who the character of Philip is. You know, Philip's the heartthrob. All the girls love him. He's not the most positive guy to the women, but, I mean, he's... He's the fun guy. He's the fun guy. Yeah. Fun guy. Mm -hmm. So, of course, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret was a book before it became a movie. Did you get a chance to read the book before you got into the movie, or did you read it after the movie? You know, I thought it was a girl's book at first. <laughs> and so when I read it, you know, it helped me truly understand what young girls go through. And so it also helped me, you know, embrace my inner Philip Leroy. <laughs> I love it. And I, it's good that you say that because even when I was doing my research for this movie, I seen a lot of, like, male actors and a lot of men talk about how they read this book when they were younger and it actually did shock me because I read this book when I was younger and I did think it was just a girl's book so I think it's pretty cool that a lot of guys read the book and you know you can get the point of view of where a young lady comes from but um because you still are a young star a young actor what advice would you give young people out there especially people who are going through maybe their trials or tribulations like Margaret maybe did yeah you know that's a very good question I hope you know people understand what they go through and I hope that they watch this movie and be like, you know, I hope, you know, even if there are bullies out there, you know, I hope people understand to say, I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to treat them because maybe they are going through something like this. And, you know, I hope they understand that. That's a great answer. Uh, my last question for you, have you ever had a Margaret moment? And what would be your Margaret moment, like your most embarrassing moment that has happened to you so far? You know, that actually made me think about when um, I was in Trader Joe's and I was on a uh, cart. And I slipped back and I fell right in front of everybody. Yeah, and so I guess that is my market moment right there. <laughs> yeah. Good market moment because you got up, you dusted yourself off, and you tried again. So that's very good. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations on the role for such an iconic story, an iconic movie. So for you, before you took the role, did you know about the book or did you find out after you took the role? Um, once I got the audition, I hadn't gotten the role yet. I immediately w we went out and we bought the book. My mom reread it and I reread it, and I fell in love with all of the roles really. But uh, I think Nancy was a very fun and confident girl, so that was so fun. To play. I feel like reading the book growing up, I definitely connected with Nancy. So for those who don't know, who is Nancy? Nancy is um, a very bubbly, blonde, silly, um, very confident, and kind of blunt person yeah. she tells it how it is and I think there's a part of her that thinks she's always the best in the room <laughs> sounds like me <laughs> I think we can all use a little Nancy in our lives. yeah uh, in in certain doses I think in certain doses, in certain doses. Uh, for you because the story does follow Margaret who's a young woman and a lot of her friends and you're still very young too and I feel like a lot of people can relate to the book older and younger but what advice would you give to maybe young people out there who I feel like when we're young, we feel like it's the end of the world for us when we're going through things. So what advice would you give to young folks out there who feels like they're going through their own trials and tribulations? Well, 
Well, I think um, this book and this movie, it will really normalize talking about puberty, the things that's happening to your body, to your mind. Um, and I think for all the people that are watching this, it, it normalizes it and know that you're not the only one that's going through this. It's completely normal, and it's actually kind of funny if you step back. <laughs> Now that I reflect back on like my Margaret moment and I look back, I'm like, you know what? It was actually funny. But in that moment, you think it's like the world is ending. I mean, I'm still going through my Margaret moment, but even if I look back at like a year ago, I'm like, who was she and why is she doing this? Because we're still going. I was going to ask you, I remember my Margaret moment. For you, you're still very young, but do you have a Margaret moment that sticks with you and you're like, ah, I remember that. You know what? After we filmed um, Are You There, God, It's Me, Margaret, that we must increase our bus thing. I really thought it did work. And I'm not saying I was like in my room doing it, but I really thought that doing it all that time on set would actually like make something appear. It didn't, it doesn't work, but um, I definitely. We definitely all tried it. I know I tried it after reading that book and then seeing the preview of you guys doing it. I'm like, I guess it really doesn't work. No, it, it definitely hasn't worked for me at least. I don't know if it's changed. But uh, yeah, I guess Margaret moment, a lot of the, the stuffing of the bra or like putting on your mom's bra, I, that's my Margaret moment. I'm guilty. Amazing. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. It's so nice meeting you. You nice look so meeting. great. Thank you. You look beautiful. You thank you. Me. You look gorgeous. I love your outfit. Thank you so much. Danielle Lawson. Danielle Lawson. So what brings you out to the Are You Here, God? It's Me, Margaret carpet? I'm here supporting my dear friend Jacoby Swain. He's in the movie and he plays my brother on Raven's Home. So I'm just super excited to be here and support him. Yes, and you're on a legendary show, Raven's Home. So I ask that because, so Are You Here, Guard? It's Me, Margaret. It was originally a book and now it's turned into a movie. You're on a show that was already popular and now you're on the reboot. So was that a lot of pressure for you stepping into something that was already, you know, because when something's already made, sometimes the fans can be a lot, a little overwhelming, but in a good way. So was it a lot of pressure for you stepping into something like that not really you know Raven's Home has been on for a while now and it's doing well the fans love it we just got season six so it's super exciting to be on such an amazing show with an amazing cast I mean Raven Simone is like Miss Raven Simone is like the queen the go all of that she's such an inspiration so just working with her she made the environment so comfortable and everyone is a family so going in I was a little nervous but she just made it clear that we're we're family and we're here to have fun and work yeah, you guys are killing it. You're surrounded by a girl who's been doing it since she was three, and now you're killing it, and now you're here supporting your friends. So the book originally, um, Are You Here, God? It's Me, Margaret. It's about a young lady who's going through a lot and some embarrassing moments. Have you ever had your own Margaret moment in your life, and what was that moment? Oh, my gosh, absolutely. I've had too many Margaret moments. Um, ooh, I don't want to I don't want to spill the tea. Um, it's too embarrassing. Uh, I have been in an audition where I was supposed to sing a song, got ready to sing the song, forgot the whole song. Um, that's probably my most embarrassing moment because you know when you get in an audition you practice, you practice and it's like that one moment and I blew that moment. But it's just a learning lesson. <laughs> Everything's a learning lesson. Every uh, redirection, rejection is more direction. And look, it's a learning lesson for you. If you, because you still are a young lady, and this is a, a book that a lot of young people can relate to, and even a movie. If you can give advice to a lot of the young kids out there who maybe want to follow in your footsteps and become an actor or creator, what advice would you give them? I'd say, as many times as you hear no, just know that there's going to be that one yes, and that one yes could change your life. Um, for me, I've been an actress since I was four years old, and I've got a whole lot of no's, but I've learned. For me, my one yes was King Richard, and just being a part of that project, it just inspired me and pushed me to keep going and to realize that the sky is the limit, so just keep going. Perfect answer. Thank you so much. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. Thank you. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, first of all, congratulations. Uh, what was it like getting the role for you when you got this role? Well, I didn't really know anything about it at first, but I remember I did get the book. Um, I think they provided did they provide for me. I don't think they did, but I got the book. I read like the first two chapters on it, and I was so excited. We like when we first met each other, it was like a big circle, and I was just so excited because like we're all best friends now, and preparing for it was just 
Uh, I heard that. I was speaking to a few parents, and I heard that you guys are really good friends. Yeah. What was the chemistry like working on set? Because I know sometimes you can step into something new, new school, new environment. It might be intimidating, but what was the chemistry like working with everyone? It, it was like we weren't even working. It was just like a fun like set. It was like it was just the chemistry would flow so well. I remember um in one scene. I want I don't want to spoil anything, but I remember one scene we would just be like we were behind this little curtain and we would just be peeking our heads. It was like me, Zach, and I think somebody else. But it was just so fun. Like it was so fun. I love it. Well, because this book is about a young woman and it follows her and her journey and her friends. And you were still very young. There's a lot of young kids out here who may want to follow in your footsteps and do what you do. What advice would you give the kids out there who may be watching you? Can I look at the camera? Yep, you can look at the camera. Yes, I do. <laughs> Um, dream big, okay, and don't let anybody tell you that you can't be here where I am, and if your dreams don't scare you, then they're not big enough. I know that's right. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. So nice talking to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, how are you? Hello. I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Well, first of all, congratulations on this role. What was it like when you got the role? Did you already know about the story? Did you know about the book or did you find out after you got your role? I found out after I got my role. I haven't even read the book. Yeah. So like when I was um, auditioning for it, I was kind of just going off of like what I thought the character would like how she would like do things and say things and so then um, when I got my call back Kelly was telling me how she really liked my work and how um, how she was a fan of what I was doing and so I was like okay well I just have to keep this energy up I have to keep the same momentum going adrenaline so yeah I love it well first of all you guys seem like such a good group the chemistry seems amazing what was it like working on set with everybody on set I was much younger than I will. I was two years younger than I am now. Two years is a big difference, though. Yes, it is a very big difference. Especially in teenage years, two years is huge. Yes. <laughs> when I was younger, like when I was shooting the film, I wasn't really as, I was closer to two people. I was really close to two people than I was to the rest of the cast. Right. But when we all met up yesterday together, yeah. I feel like I was friends with all of them. Like I was best friends with all of them. So I feel like everyone has a great bond with each other and everyone connects really well. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. Because this movie, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, follows a young lady and her journey. And you're still a young lady. And there's so many young kids who are going to read this book and watch this movie. What advice would you give to the young kids out there who maybe want to follow in your footsteps? Change is perfectly normal. It, everyone goes through it. Everyone is different in their own way. And don't give up on your dreams. If you want to do something, tell your parents. Let, let them know. And there is a possibility that they can make it happen. I love it. Thank you so much. You look beautiful and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. It was great talking to you. First of all, congratulations on the movie. Let us know who Moose is and what does Moose bring. Who's the character of Moose? Moose is he's definitely a heart dove. I think he's gonna, you know, everyone loves Moose. He's just a kind person and he's he makes a great impression on everyone who he meets and everyone likes him. He's a hard worker as well for sure. Because this is a legendary book that's, that came out in the 70s, did you get a chance to tap into the book before you got the role? Was it something that you looked into after? For sure. It was, um, you know, when I understood, I didn't know much about the book before, um, just because it's not really my style of book. It's just not something I would read. Um, yeah, but uh, I definitely, I, I read it just because I, I wanted to understand just kind of what I was stepping into, what kind of role I was stepping into, and what, you know, what shoes I had to fill. And it was, yeah, for sure. Because the book, it follows Margaret, who goes through a lot of trials and tribulations in her eyes and a lot of embarrassment. I feel like it's like that when you're young. So you're uh, still a young star. What advice would you give to young kids who may want to follow in your footsteps or maybe having a hard, a hard time with life itself? For sure. Uh, you know, you have to push yourself to get to get where you want to. But you also have to understand you have to understand your limits as well. And you have to don't make sure you don't, you know, don't get burnt out. Don't over don't push yourself too much and uh, always take a break and step back and look what you know, what's really important to you and then value that and then go from there. Thank you so much. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Thank you.